everybody. Welcome back to another Kevin's Creations here at Geektopia Island. I'm Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And we're here today to showcase a brand new set review of the new set of Game of Gods Revolution. So it is that time and time again, and we're pretty excited for it. It's this set's going to be wild. Yeah. I definitely believe this set's going to change a whole lot of how Force Wheels played at the moment. Um, Actually, I know I guarantee that since that's going to change that because somebody somewhere is going to play that meme deck and we're going to talk about him and I don't like it, no. but it is what it is. Um, but for those that have never joined us on one of these set reviews, it's a little different of a like thing. We're a lot more chill in this one. We're going to be a lot more like relaxed in what we're doing. Um, but we go over each of the cards in the set and what... Because we think differently on how cards look, how they work, how they do stuff. Yeah. And we're definitely brewers too, so. Yeah. So we play wild. all the weird cards and we're like, that card could have some value. But, um, so we're going to go over like different stuff like that. We're going to go over like if a card is useful and it would be New Frontiers. But now everything's now all everything's coming gonna together. Now Wonder at the end of August, so, or at the start of August. So it's pretty much just going to be if it's usable or if it's not usable, pretty much like. Yeah. There, and then some are going to be unlimited. Like some are just limited bombs. Pretty and much. Or know. cards that are only okay for limited filler, but otherwise don't play them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and we're pretty good about getting ones ones we're like on the, both sides, but then we both have our own thoughts on things. And you see it sometimes where we're like, that card's bad, and he's just like, that card's really good. Oh, yeah. So forth, so on. Um, this will be color coded, color coded. So if you want to check out like a certain color, go check it out down below in our uh, description. So like we'll have white time stamped and red time stamped, so forth, so on. So if you need to see what we think about a certain card, go check it out. Um, otherwise, it's just gonna be a chill talk about the cards. Yep. And while we're chilling, waiting for that, guys, we're, before we get started, we're gonna remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below as well. Go check that out and then you'll get access to this early. You'll get access to our Discord and you'll get access to all of our deck techs early. Um, also, you get uh, all the other fun stuff and perks in our Discord. Yep. And don't forget, we actually do have a deck builder app for Force of Will called FOW Grimoire. Uh, the link will be down below, but with Apple and Android, there is a free version where you can create at least two decks. And we haven't fully connected yet. I'm not sure if we got the information yet, if the set will be out like day one, but it will definitely be out a couple of days afterwards for sure. So you can just go ahead and start making those decks and, and free for all and send your deck list to us or all your friends and such like that. Heck yeah, so let's delve into this. It's gonna be a minute, so be aware with us. Oh, yeah. So, first ruler we have is Athenia. She is probably the ruler that I'm most excited for, even though uh, some people like Trevor think that she's not good. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think she's amazing. So, Athenia is the red, black, and green ruler of the set. She has Tails, so you can only have to play Tails in Revolution Order. She has Force Command Death. Her backside, she has Force Command Rebirth. That's so a you, difference. You may call a Magic Stone of the this card is rested and so forth so on so what that essentially means is on the front side you can get certain abilities on some cards and on her back side you get certain abilities when it's ordered kind of weird yep. but it can be a lot of shenanigans if it works right and no bonuses other than that like yeah, literally it's just that that's all she gets and it's kind of cool but we'll see how well it does all right the next one of course is dragon flame high god villains you cannot play anything but tells so revolution zero and the force command is flame and with the Yoga Flame, uh, enter, you can gain five dragon power. This ordered card gains dragon. You may call a magic stone, if even if it was tapped or rested or whatnot. And everyone's speculating that this one's probably, what, the most powerful? Yeah, so this is so. the this is our boy Fushai. He's back. And, uh, you know, Force War was like, we didn't really do so well with him last time, so let's just make him a badass this yeah, one. Extreme. I really think he's probably either the best deck or the second best deck in this new set of rulers because he is insanely strong. Uh, next is Typhon, the infinite monster. It is a ruler I'm not too happy about because it's going to be some janky ass games. I, I enjoy the thought and ideas of it though. <laughs> like I really appreciate it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. He's it's, neat, but, but it's going to be annoying. Yes. He is all five colors. He is a villain. You cannot play Tails. Uh, you cannot have non-darkness cards in your decks. So you can only play darkness. And you have no maximum deck size, but at least 100 cards in your deck. Yeah. If you would set your starting life, set it to X 100 life instead, where X is the total number of cards in your deck, a maximum of 200. Yep. So remember how they made the rule of 60 card deck? Then you throw that I out just, the window no, with him. Gone. He gets to play a 100 card deck at least, at very minimum. Or up to 200. Yep. But it also says you can have more than that. It just, your max life is 200. At least 200. Please don't play a 200 plus deck because it's just, not going to be good with him. Like, yeah. 
You want to play 100 cards with him, honestly, because it's just, I, I think that's where it needs to be at. I mean, it's cute that since everything's going to Wander, you can put every single black slash multicolor black card in there ever, but why would you? Yeah, and then he has Force Command Infinity. Uh, when he orders and enter, you may reveal a machine you own from outside the game to keep it revealed until the end of the game. You may call or rest, you may call while rested and all the same stuff. So the reason he's going to be nuts is some of the cards that he's come out with do a lot of weird things when they're revealed. So we'll get into that when we get to him, but he is going to be interesting. Oh yeah. Next is Zeus, the first Olympian. He is a high god and 12 Olympian gods. Uh, he is a Tels, so, oh, you can still play... Can you still play uh, villains with him since no, he doesn't have that text? No, he has the same thing as Tails. Okay, just making sure because it doesn't have that clause. Yeah. But you may not have more than one copy of any card of your deck. Here we go again. We're doing <laughs> yeah. that. Yay, and, Singleton. Yay, Olympians is the Force Command. And of course, you flip him over, Command as well, Enter. You may search your deck for a new 12 Olympian Gods and reveal and put in your hand. And if you do shuffle your deck, this ordered card gains the new 12 Olympian Gods, so... Other ones literally just have that, but you can make anything with this. But you may call a magic stone while this card is rested, and calling a stone magic stone does not call it to rest. So there's a lot of weird things we're going to do with that as well. But remember with him, you can only have singleton. Yep. So it is kind of a dangerous game, but it is kind of cool. So first up is Apollyon, the third Olympian. He is one white and one. For a new 12 apostle or new sorry huh, i like new 12 apostles it's oh, new yeah, 12 yeah. olympian they do like the number 12 yeah for sure uh he's a six seven tails with quick cast enter and all of these like 12 olympians have the same clause like this enter or when this card is revealed by from your deck by the effect of an enter ability gained from a card named order of the olympians you control yeah. do something and his is remove target non magic stone non j resonator entity your opponent controls from the game so essentially what that means wow. is if you order him he gets to enter or when you go, he, you go like get when to he search, search him he gets to trigger that and then when he enters he does it again yeah because it's when he gains from the ability of an order of olympian which is kind of nuts yeah so in the in the olympian deck he gets to do his ability when he gets searched up too which is gross and then union seven which is a new mechanic for this so union seven to new 12 olympian gods is if you have seven of these new 12 olympians revealed in any known zone yeah. so the following text in all zones outside the game as long as you control Force Command Olympians. No, not that, not that. No, not that one. So, so like, you get to have... It's very weird. You have to have seven things of it shown. Go ahead. Yeah. Give me a second. I'll get to it. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. They're, they have all these, like, you know, we're used to these Force things, and now there's a separate, like, sub B tier of rules <laughs> yeah. attached to them. It's like, okay, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to make it more complicated. Um, Yeah. If there, if there is a card with a there reminder. Was one. Yeah, Where there was one? Where was it? It's, I gotta find it again. Gotta keep going. But how's everyone going? Yeah, yeah. Enjoying the, hopefully, I know it's like the third card we're talking all about. Alright, here we okay. go. Here Union we go. 7, new 12 Olympians. This card gains the following text in all zones as long as you control in public zones or own revealed outside the game a number, a combined number of seven or more new 12 Olympians in different names. So, <sighs> if you have seven of those dudes shown, then you get to be like, hey cool. And it has to be different names. So you're like, cool, do all the things. And he gains this text. So flying, eternal, barrier, and J resonators you control get plus 1,000, plus 1,000. So good. So that was a lot, I know, and I'm sorry it took a minute to get to it. But if you have this dude shown and you have six other Olympians shown in some, you know. in some form, then you get flying, eternal, barrier, and plus 10 to all your dudes, which yeah. is insane. But the fact that he's just a two drop six seven that gets rid of a card is also really good yeah. for quick yeah. cast. So know that any Tails deck that's playing white still wants to play this dude because he gets to be like, hey, cool, I remove a thing on enter trigger. And there's a lot of things where you just remove a card and you don't even need to like play them. Yeah. And it, that's something we'll also get to. And with to. Union 7 is just in general, if you have seven of them shown, doesn't have to be with new 12, new 12 Olympian guy. It's just in general. Yeah. So it's not like Force Command Resonance. It's not like that. It's its own thing that you could just have. Yeah. But it's going to be difficult to get regardless, so know that. Yeah, seven things in a quick game like Force Will is <laughs> yeah. pretty rough. Going to be wild. Oh, yeah. The next one, Regalia Blast, or Beast. It's a one white uh, Beast 4-4. Four, four. As this card enters the field, choose the... Choose an attribute, this card becomes a chosen attribute. That's cool. Tap produce one rule of attribute shared with this card. Uh, when a non-resonator regalia is put in the field under your control, put this card from the graveyard to your hand. 
that's pretty neat and cute and helps with the older ruler but yeah, yeah. i think this dude's kind of cool because it's a decent like mana ramp dude yeah and mana ramp dudes have always been pretty strong especially one drop ones and for sure. if you're playing a multicolor deck this literally is any color because it changes its color yeah which is awesome uh, next we have is Raskva. It is one white for a 4-4 four, four fairy with flying. Whenever this card is rested, it becomes rested, draw a card, then put a card from your hand on top of the deck. Okay. If this card is put into the graveyard from the field, put it on the bottom of the deck instead. Neat. That's weird. So it allows Wild. you to set your deck up how you want to do, and you like you get to know what you're getting. Uh, if you play Machina with white, this card gets to be insane with him because you get to put a card on top and know what you're drawing, so you can call it and be like, hey, cool, do things. Yeah. Um, but it also allows you to set up for like some of the Olympian dudes that do things. Exactly. And it says becomes rested so you can just swing it with it and do this. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. I, I think this is more of like a build around card. It's not like, yeah. it's going to be good and limited for sure. I don't know how strong it's going to be like constructed wise because I think there's better for one mana to do, but yeah. it's still cool. The next one is the Essence of Alice's Power. It's one white and one. It's a quick cast. Produce two wills in combination of any color or any attribute, which is awesome. Force Residence Olympians. And you may pay one less to play this card, so it was one white. As long as you play this card, you may order it as if it was a Resonator spell. Put a 6-6 six, six Light Angel Resonator token with flying on the field. If you ordered this card, put that token in the field ordered instead. At the end of turn, put the ordered card during the token into your ruler as a, as a ruler. So this is wild. So, so this card yes. in Zeus, gets to make you two wills of any mana to play a dude or do whatever you want with that mana. Yeah. You also get to pay one less for this because you have Force Residence Olympians. So it's it's one mana and make two will. And you get to order this to make a 6-6 six, six that gives you the free search for a dude to trigger its ability. Yeah. And then you get your order back because it, it, it can't stay as a spell because the spell goes away. So that's why it goes away at the end of turn like it does. But what it essentially does is it makes the spell be ordered like a resonator would be, and then it goes back to the other side. So you get more triggers out of your order ruler, which, which is really, really cool. Yeah, so you don't have to kill your ruler or your thing to do it again. Yeah, it's a cool mechanic, and that's what all the like Olympian things are and where the essences are. We're going to get through a lot of them because each color has them. Uh, the next one is the essence of Odin's power. It is one white, quick cast. Prevent the next damage that will be dealt to you this turn. If the source of that damage is a J Resonator, you may destroy it. Force Resonance Olympians, same thing. As you may play this card, you may order it as though as a Resonator. You put a 6-6 six, six Light Valkyrie Resonator with flying into the field. If this card is ordered, put it into the... Put your order back into the thing as, yep. it, res, as it at the end of turn. So, same idea. You just get to have a way to prevent damage and kill a dude and get a free order out of the thing. So, if you're playing the Olympians... Definitely don't play all of these essences, but yeah. some of them could be really strong because they allow you to get more triggers out of your order trigger. Like the last one was definitely a build around. This one, I would, I don't know. I, in my head, I think I would literally play this in the format. Because even if you don't have a Lippian, you can literally prevent the next damage of anything that hits you and then kill it. Yeah, and if, For it's, one. An, if it's an ordered card, you're just like, cool, kill it. Yeah, it's a J Resonator. Like you just get rid of it. And white needs a lot of kill J Resonator because black is hoarding it all. <laughs> yeah, it is really strong for that. The next one is Light of Zeus. It is two white and uh, chant quick cast. Any number of target entities gain eternal intent to turn. Yes, please. Players cannot chase to this card even better. So uh, we don't even need to read the rest of it. It's so <laughs> yeah. good. But since we're you're asking, it's four resonance Olympians. Destroy all J Resonators just like that. Remove this card from the graveyard from the game and do the whole thing. Wait, so wait, you may play this next card named the Fire Zeus, Water Zeus, Wind Zeus, and the Darkness of Zeus without paying its cost this turn. Yeah. So, you know, it's going, it's it's something, and it's weird. We'll get to that. All so those it fun is things. two mana, any number of things gain eternal, don't chase this. Yeah. If you're playing at an Olympians, you get to also Wrath of God. Like, you get to kill the board, which is insane. You're yeah. like, cool, kill the board. See, Except your dudes because they don't die because they're eternal. Yep. The only thing you got to think about is with these Olympian cards, you can only have one of them. So it's like almost what's the point? Yeah. So it's going to be a little dangerous with them, but that's why they're so more powerful with Olympians for less mana because you only get one. Yeah, but this is a perfect sideboard card. Have I would do four in, you know, in the sideboard just in case. Yeah. Uh, next is Thylif. 
Uh, she is one white for a 4 4 fairy. When this card becomes rested, you gain 1,000 life. If this card would be put into a graveyard from oh, the what? field, put it on the bottom of its owner's deck instead. No. I kind of like this card. I like this card a lot. It's kind of silly. You in, just. In limited, it's really cool because you're just like, take your four. I gain 1,000. I, I gain one fourth of my life. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, this card actually I like a lot as like a sideboard card, honestly. Yeah. Because if you're playing against aggro, you're just like, cool, I gain 1,000 every turn. Yep. If you're Virgil, it's cute. I'll just gain my life back out of it. Or you can even put it in a old Zeus deck and be like, this thing's big. <laughs> or another Jiro, like, this thing's big and I swing and I gain a thousand life. Yeah. What are you doing? It's kind of nuts. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, four. Uh, so, yeah, so that's, I would say it's playable, standard playable. Oh, or yeah, whatever. for sure. Thor, reincarnated God of Thunder. It's a one white and one quick cast because everything is. It's a five seven. Rest three, recover J Resonators you control. Hey, you don't even need to swing with that thousand life one. You may search your deck for a card named Thor's Hammer, reveal it, and put it in your hand, and if you do, shuffle your deck. When you play this card named Thor's Hammer, this card gains plus 1,000, plus 1,000 swiftness, precision, pierce, until in the turn. And revolution, just in case. Enter. Bracket, bracket, enter. You may search your deck for up to one card named Thrifty and add up one card named Ruskve and put them in the field, and if you do, search your card deck. So, so yeah, the yeah. two little fairies we talked about, he goes and gets them when you order them, when you order this guy, and then he allows you to just be already able to tap them because his ability says rest three recovered dudes to do things. Yeah. So you literally get him ordered, get all three of them in play, and then tap them to get Thor's hammer to make him bigger. Yep. Because you can. Because you can. And it, I love how they balanced it out where you have to have one more than the dudes that you get, get. So you can't just immediately play him, do it, and then swing like insane. But the fact that you can be like, turn one player, one drop, and then turn two, flash him out, do all this stuff, and then yeah. have fun. Yeah, it's kind of insane what he can do for just getting so much power out of him. Actually, yeah, never mind. I just negate that, the fact that you can do it on their turn, tap all three, <laughs> yeah. get the hammer, on your turn go for it yeah and then it comes into play on your turn and you gained a thousand and you also whatever the other one does yeah. which is ridiculous so thor's hammer it is two white chant reveal the top card of your deck if you do destroy all j resonators with total cost x your opponent controls where x is the total cost of revealed card draw a card Fucking nice. you may play this card as though it had quick cast as long as you control a card named thor uh reincarnated god you may pay a white less to play this card if you control a card named thor reincarnated god so one white Reveal the top card, possibly kill their board, and yeah. have it quick cast. And then whenever you play a card name. Okay, cool. Yes. So it literally helps you board wipe and swing in for lots of damage. Yeah, he's just big angry. It is a combo deck in and of itself, so know that if you're playing this, it's its own little package. Yeah. Just that's part of it. But why aggro? I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool little white weenie deck, so definitely think about it. The next one is Zeus enters the game of gods. It's one white uh, quick cast. If you are starting ruler as Zeus, of course, you have up to four copies of your card. Whoa, you may have up to four copies of this card in your deck. Choose one. Produce two wills of any combination of attributes. Spill this only to play 12, uh, I almost said apostles, Olympian gods. Put target two, 12, two <laughs> new 12 Olympian gods from your graveyard or removed area from the bottom of your deck. And then four stars in Olympians. Instead, add the following option and then choose one. You may search your deck for a uh, god, reveal it, and put it in your hand. And if you do, shuffle your deck. Treat this effect as an effect of an enter ability, so you get the same thing as when you uh, judgment. And then, okay, that's just an extra yeah. thumb. Yeah, so this card literally goes and searches up the new Olympians for you. That's why you can, you're can you allowed four of them. Yeah. Or you can get to play, you get more mana to play them. So it's easier to play them slash it goes and searches them for you. This card is definitely, you're playing this if you're playing Zeus because you have to have four of it because it just helps you fix your mana slash go get them. Yeah. Otherwise, you don't want to, you don't want to play this. Yeah. If you're not playing New Olympians, this card is definitely not worth it. But if you are, then definitely think about this card. That's yeah. really about it. That's it. Uh, next up, we're going to go into red. So the first red card we have is Apostle of Dragon Flame. It is one red for a 0-7 dragon with flying. This card gets plus X plus O, where X is your dragon power. Or Donculus. This man is super good for a common. For like a normal card, this is insane. Many games will be ended with this guy killing you on turn two. Or so. turn like three, yeah. Because you're yeah. just like, he starts out like, 
even if you order this dude and just order him, he's a 5'7". Flying. He's a 5'7 just by himself <laughs> if you order him. And there's a whole lot of other cards that make your dragon power go up. So if you have more dragon power, this dude's just like, I'm a 27. Yep. Because I, I can. I swing. Yeah, Thanks. it's insane. He's just, like he said, a lot of games are going to get one on this dude's back just out of nowhere. Yep. Because you can. Next one, Conclave at Dragon Mountain. That's one uh, red chant. Draw three cards at the beginning of the end phase. Discard three cards. I like this card a lot. But that's only... See, really early game, it might not even help you. But late game, it's going to win the hell out of the yeah. games. Because if you have nothing else, you draw three cards. And then if and you, you play them, if you play them, you're like, I don't care if I just discard three cards. Yeah. Neat. I would definitely play this card in an aggro deck. Yeah, this card is, is weird in that regard because it's really cool late game. But early game, like you said, it's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Uh, Dodgy, the mass-produced queen. She has one red for a 2-4 machine. She is a villain, and she is a quick cast. Enter. You may search your deck for a dragon, reveal it, and put it into graveyard. If you do, shuffle your deck. If you revealed a dragon this way, this card does 500 damage plus an additional X damage to your opponent, where X is the amount of life your opponent gained this turn. Nice. And your opponent cannot gain life until the end of turn. Tap. Destroy target. Machine J resonate your control. If you do, draw two cards, then discard a card. Damn. Revolution. Enter. You may put a dragon from your graveyard into your hand. So weird, cute, kind of just does all the things. Yeah, she definitely helps out uh, Dragonflame a lot. I don't know. I don't think you'd use like more than like three of them. Because they're cool, we're, but they're not like yeah. amazing. We're going to come back to this card when a certain card comes up and I'm going to ask a question. But yeah, other than that, it, you draw a card it will, just by tapping. It's pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice to be like, kill my dude and get free cards. Yep. Dragon Crystal. This art is so badass. It's a <laughs> one red edition. Enter draw a card. That's perfect. It's a cantrip. X. Where X is the number of times you've already played this ability in this game. This deals 200 damage to target player or J Resonator. Okay. So, uh, Flame Resonance, Flame. Uh, two red. This card becomes an XX Dragon Resonator with flying until end of turn where X is the dragon power. Until, until, and it's still an addition. Wow. This card is really good. So you can pay one, deal 200, pay two, deal 200, right? And just yeah. do that. That's how you do that. Yeah. I I think this card is good. I don't it's, think this card is more than a one of yeah. or two of because it doesn't do much. It doesn't help you in the long run, really, because you, you can do better for one mana, yeah. I, in my opinion. It's so powerful nowadays, one mana. It's just, it does everything you ever want. Yes, this does give you like a mana sink that you can do stuff with, but it doesn't feel like it's needed. Uh, limited bomb though. Yeah, limited. You play this you card, play you're like, wow, my card. dude's big. Because I can. And every turn, you just like, kill, take two, take two. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Flame enters the game of gods. It is one red and one. And this art is awesome as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, quick cast, choose one. Choose AJ Resonator, your opponent controls. It loses all abilities until the end of turn. Then this card deals X under damage to it, where X is your dragon power. Or target J Resonator gains plus X plus X to the turn where X is your dragon power. Uh, Force Resonance Flame. You may pay one less to play this card. You may choose both instead. Hell yeah. Done. This card is pretty good because yep. it's literally your dude gets little and takes damage and I get to be big and kill you. Yep. Simple as that. So if your dragon power is big, this card is one mana. Kill your dude. My dude gets big. But as, as we just talked about all the other red cards, it's kind of just like it's a limited bomb. Might not be as good as you think in... You know, wonder because there's a lot of things you could do with one mana. Yeah, but in the same regard with one mana, you get to make it lose all abilities. It's like a better Gradius if you're playing Dragon Flame. Yeah, really, that is true. And also, uh, with the one drop dragon we we're talking about, you can double its power immediately. Yeah, and swing in. So yeah, this card is really strong for Dragon Flame. But if you're not playing him, don't use this card. It's yeah. that's simple. Yeah. Uh, Hestia, the sixth Olympian. It's a one red resonator. It is a twelve uh, Olympian god. I'm just going to say Olympian God. The 12 yeah. gets me. 2, 7, Tail Swiftness. Enter. Or when this card is revealed, uh, whenever this card is... Uh, so it deals 500 damage to target player or J Resonator. So, okay. Whenever this card attacks, you may destroy target uh, damage J Resonator. Done. And it has Swiftness, so it can immediately hit something big and kill it. And then it has the Union 7. J Resonator, as you control, gain Swiftness. Enter. This card deals 1,000 damage to your opponent and each J Resonator they control. So late game, super good if you get there. This is okay. Yeah, like, I like it. It's yeah. not like 
again, if you're going down the Union 7 route, it's one of the ones you should use because yeah. it's super strong. I like it in red red aggro because it's literally like come into play, kill your dude, swing. Yep. Or shoot your dude, swing, and it dies automatically because it literally gets to kill whatever it swings. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't have to swing at that dude to kill it, which is nuts. So you're just like, cool, swing, kill your dude. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm just going to point this out now. If I redo my Cthulhu Dusk Girl deck, she'll probably go in there. <laughs> yeah. Drop, deal damage, swing, kill that big thing. Yeah. Super good. Pretty good. Uh, next, we have increased dragon power. It is one red and one for a quick cast chant. Uh, you gain 10 dragon power. <laughs> Force resistance flame. This card cannot be canceled and draw a card. I don't like this card. Nope. It's cool, but it costs two mana. Yep. I mean, yeah, it's really cool to get dragon power that way, but... It, that's all it does. Like, it doesn't really do anything for you. Like, if you're super aggro with that one drop dragon, then okay, but maybe there's probably definitely better things to do. Yeah, but this doesn't really change the board state for you. Yeah, it just exactly. gives you more dragon power, which eh. is cool, but I mean... Eh. Eh. Yeah, exactly. Eh. Eh. Mechanized Armored Dragon, awesome. Uh, didn't know we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! But it was two <laughs> yeah. red, one dragon machine. It's an 810 flying for three. Well, yeah. Enter. You gain five dragon power, target J Resner gains plus zero plus plus a thousand tone a turn. Red discard this card, put this card from your graveyard to the field, then banish it. This card's so cool. <laughs> okay. I love this normal, because it's one red, play this dude and get his dragon power ability, and then he dies. Okay. I mean you gain five I'm dragon about power. It. And uh discarding this card, it, you can block real good. Block something real good. Surprise block. It kills something. You gain five dragon power. Cool. Oh, I mean, yeah, this won't get to block because it dies when you put it in play. Yeah, but... But something else gets plus yeah, 0 yeah. plus 10. Yeah, plus 0 plus 10. Done. And you get free dragon power. So if you're playing dragon power guy, I think this is definitely be played. I don't know how many of them because it's not like super strong, but for one mana, I'll do it all day. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. Mechanize the blade dragon. Yes. This looks cool too. Yeah. This Y'all's artwork is on point, Yeah, boys. it's getting it's better. This Two red and one for a 1,008. Uh, flying. Enter. You gain five dragon power. Target J Resonator gains plus 1,000 plus 0. Pay one red. Discard this card. Put this card in graver into the field. Then banish it. Red deck wins. Gets to be red deck wins. Yeah, for sure. You're like, cool. Remember little dragon power dude? He gets angry with this card. Because you're like, cool. He's That's 20 damage turn plus two. Plus five. And then he gets another plus 1,000. Actually, does that kill? No. That almost that leaves your opponent with five or well, five hundred life, because if you do two of these on turn two, that's ten extra dragon power and plus two thousand, right? Yeah. So that gives it pretty much thirty five hundred when you if, swing. If you're ordered with him, then he gets another five because that's what dragon power does. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this does allow dragon mans to kill you on turn two with the first order dragon. So yeah. If you have two of these, it's kind of nuts, but it is what it is. And there's a lot of face cards of burning, so that's good. Mechanized nice flame soldier. It's a one red machine. Swiftness, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Hey, we love those. Banish this card, target machine J Resonator. You control gain swiftness to your own turn. When a machine dragon resonator enters the field under your control, put this card from your graveyard onto the field. <laughs> red, yeah, red aggro, let's go. Yeah. This yeah. card's good. Yeah, red aggro just gets angry with dragon power mans. Because you're just like, hey, my dudes are swiftness. Blarg. Now, do they have to be a machine and dragon yeah together. i believe so okay. and machine dragon because the last two have been dragon machines because it has commons or a comma it's not and so you have to have yeah, those two i do specific. believe it does have to be both so, so a build around yeah definitely build around but if you get it then you get free dudes yep and free dudes is always good next is peng tong the awakening phoenix it is two red for a beast it is a six six and it used to be a human for the last time when this was <laughs> a thing but yeah. she you know she awakened into a phoenix uh, it is a, a villain. Enter. This card deals X hundred damage to each J Res and your opponent controls. Rex is your dragon power. Super good. So, awesome. Um, and then two red. You gain five dragon power. This card deals five hundred damage to each player. Amazing. And then revolution against flying and enter double your dragon power. This card is insanely good for playing dragon flame. I don't know. I don't know. You could do four of them. It'd be a little crazy because it does. It's kind of a one sided board wipe. It's all about double your dragon power. Yeah, but being like, hey, double my dragon power. So get this in mind. If you had more will to produce, comes into play before the enter triggers of both, you just pay two red and gain five. And then you double your dragon power and then you deal damage to all the things and then you 
It's good. It's kind of nuts it's how just much good. this can do. Yeah. So yeah, definitely use Peng Tong if you're playing Dragon Flame. Yep. The Essence of Dragon Flame's power. It's a random one quick cast. Jaywear's energy control gain plus 200 and swiftness until in a turn. You have uh, Force Resonance Olympians, which is weird and wild. So, you know, all that stuff. But as long as you, you play this card in order, as a Resonator spell, you get a 6 6 Dragon token with flying. And then in the turn, you put it back and your J Resonator goes back to normal. Meh. So, yeah, uh, like I was saying with the essence of all the other ones, you want to choose the ones you want to use because some will help you better than others will. Um, they all definitely give the Olympian deck like a uh, sideboardable cards. Yeah. Because you can use some of these in the board. And there may be ways to play them from the board, but otherwise you can just be like, change them out for when you need that ability. Otherwise useless. Yeah. That's useless. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of meh. Uh, the Essence of Nyarlathotep's Power. It is one red, quick cast. This card deals 500 damage to target player or J Resonator. Cool. Uh, and then you can order it as a Resonator spell, even though it's not. And you get a 6-2 Fire Cthulhu with Swiftness into the field. And then Do it the goes through the whole comeback thing. This Man. card, I think, is better than the last one because it literally does 8 damage, or 6 plus 5, it does 11 damage. Yeah. But, but it's still, still kind of meh. <laughs> I, I, yeah. don't, I personally don't like the Essence cards at all that much. I think some are really good, but some are really not. Almost feels like they had to fill a void of some sort. Yeah, they are definitely normals, so just use them wisely however you want to use them. As tokens on the battlefield if need be. or. But I don't no. think they're all that good. I yeah. really don't. Don't. The Fire of Zeus, it's one red chant. Put the top four cards of your deck into your graveyard, and with the Olympians, you may put a chant from your graveyard into the hand, and then this card is the graveyard from the field. You may play the next card, Light Zeus, Water Zeus, Wind Zeus, and Darkness of Zeus without paying its mana cost. I don't know, these aren't working too well either. I like this card a whole lot, actually, for yeah. multiple, multiple reasons. Okay. So, put four cards in your deck from your, in, from your deck into your graveyard. So that straight up, if you're playing Olympians, Shows allows you to get Union 7 within two turns. If you get them, because it is Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get ones. the dudes, yeah, but yeah. you have a better chance because it puts them all in the graveyard. For sure. And then all these other remove this card from the graveyard, all the water, Zeus, wind, Zeus, they all have that same keyword, yeah. key phrase that you can remove from the graveyard to do things. So this card literally sets up for you to do other stuff. So I do kind of like it for that regard. But it is one of those, like, it's a combo deck piece card. Yeah. Like, for Olympians, you get free combo out of it. And otherwise, it's put four cards from the deck in the graveyard. That can be really strong and kind of like a weird graveyard recursion deck. So know that it could be good in other decks. Especially if you had even two or three of these of Zeus cards in your hand. You just play one and it triggers the rest of them. So you can just, like, do it in order to make yeah. you really win. It's, it's kind of nutty how good, like, some of these weird cards can be. So I don't know how good this... We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah. But I think this card could be really strong for a normal. Yeah. Tiger and Dragon, the giant futuristic weapon. <laughs> he has three red and three for a beast dragon machine. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's hardcore. Yeah. He is a zero zero. <gasps> Neat. Uh, he is a villain. When this card gains plus X plus X, where X is your dragon power. Of course. You may pay three less to play this if your dragon power is 20 or more. Okay. Pay one red, discard this card, this card deals X hundred damage, target J resonator where X is your dragon power, then draw a card. Hell yeah. Done. That's pretty sweet. That's good. Uh, Revolution, he gains flying and pierce. This card deals damage equal to its attack to your opponent. Oh. Mans is pretty good yeah. in dragon power deck because he is late game in dragon power. He is a good bomb for three mana. Yep. Early game, he is a spot removal and you gain something back from it because you draw a card from it. So you're like, cool, kill that dude, exactly. get a card back. So I don't lose any value, and I get to kill your dude. And by turn three, you can literally just kill him. Just immediately just kill your opponent. Because this card deals damage equal to its attack to the opponent. Just enter play, take 20, you're dead. Yeah. Thanks, bye. If, if your dragon power is over 20, because yeah. then he costs three. Yeah. 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 Definitely card is worth playing in dragon power. Don't, I don't think it's more than like three of, maybe. Yeah, I, b just because of the discard this deal damage to something, that's why it's usable, for sure. Yeah. The next one is Zongling, Perfect Strategist. It's a one red will. Four, four villains. This card deals damage to equal to the attack to you. And whenever an effect you control deals damage to you, produce a red. So immediately is free. Gets your will back. If damage would be dealt to... You during your turn, 200 damage is dealt to you instead. 
This card gains plus X plus X swiftness flying as long as it has dragon uh, where X is has a dragon where X is your dragon power. Now, isn't this a uh, combo win deck? Yeah, tournament? so this card has already caused a whole lot of issues and people are, you know, people are people and we like to break things. Yeah. Um, I don't see this card getting banned because it's not that strong. It's not by that strong, but the other cards that work with it are bannable. Um, so with, and at some point I'll show you the deck. It'll be probably one of the sooner decks because it's it's really funny. But with my last, this card literally gets to win on turn one or turn two. You're just like, hey, cool, you die. It does a whole lot of shenanigans because you produce mana and you get to keep doing it, and then she just gets bigger and then you kill them. Yep. It's kind of dumb how it works, but. We'll get to that when we should, when we get to that point. But overall, she is definitely a good card for Dragon Flame. Uh, I definitely would say use four of her, period, because she does a lot for you. Like you said, she's free. And then if damage is dealt to you, prevent two of it. And she gains swiftness as long as you have where X is your dragon well, power. It says 200 damage is dealt to you instead. So even if you take 10, you just take yeah. two instead, which is very amazing, Is what I, if I'm reading that correctly. Mm -hmm. So that and just survival against another burn deck that's just, it wins? It's during your turn though. Oh, so during your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But overall, this definitely is a card to definitely play in Dragon Power. Yeah. Uh, it Just know that it has the ability to be busted. With that, guys, we're going to delve into blue now. The first blue card we have is Einsberg, the Mechanized Invasion Leader. He is insane. Uh, he's three blue and one for a 10,000 or 1,000, 1,000 villain. You may play this card from outside the game as long as it's revealed by paying two black rather than paying its cost. All right. Enter, gain control of target non-magic stone, non j rule entity your opponent controls as long as this card is in the field. And then revolution, flying, this card gains plus X plus X and j is your opponent control, gain minus X minus X, where X is the number of different names among machines you control in public zones and machines you own revealed outside the game. Okay. This dude's really good. Yes, very much so. He is also a dragon machine, so you can do all the shenanigans with him like the other ones. Yeah, but... This dude is mostly mostly for Typhon, and he is allowed to do things outside the game and then come into play for two mana. And then it's a 10-10 dude with yeah, flying. He's insane if for two mana. Yeah. Revolution, 10 mana, let's go. Or two mana, let's do it. Gross. Definitely usable, definitely playable in Typhon. If you're playing Typhon, you play him. Yep. Mechanical Engineer of Mahat. It's a one blue and one. Enter, choose one. You may reveal a machine you own from outside the game and keep it revealed until in the game. So there you go. And then put a reveal machine you own from outside the game into your hand. So you can also do that. And it's a six six for two. So this just helps you set up everything if need be. Yeah, it's a cool common. It's a cool normal. It's good and limited to do things like that. Yeah. But other than that, don't use this card because yeah. there's better cards to do this. With more fancier and cost less. Yeah, it, it's still a good card for like limited. Mechanization. Like this one. It is one blue chant machine. Um, quick cast. Destroy target machine. J Resna you control. If you do, you may search your deck for a non chant machine card. Total cost X. Or total cost equals to the total cost of the card. Destroy this way. You put it in the field. Then put six 1 1 counters on it and shuffle your deck. When this card <laughs> rev becomes revealed from outside the game, draw a card. So good. So yeah, it is a machine, so you can have one on the south side of the game, so you can allow to search it up or do things with it revealed to draw a card and then uh, destroy target machine. So it allows you to kill your stuff and get something bigger. Yep. It is really cool. I th I like what they're doing with some of the revealed outside the game. And for all the people asking, revealed outside the game as of the new CR is only your sideboard. So it's only triggering off your sideboard cards. Yeah. Um, and this is also if they're like, hey, kill this card or attacking this card, then you're just like, I'll save it. And you can even get a, the same copy, right? Yeah. Just go ahead and put it back in, but it's bigger this time. Thanks. Very good. I like this card a lot. Yeah, it's a very much save your card. Yeah. It doesn't really save it, but it. And if your dude's going to die already, you might as well just go get something value. And if there's a type of uh, card that's in my ranking, S rank, it's always save your dude. That's <laughs> yeah. number one S rank for me. So, yeah. So I, I like it. Mechanize Finier. Oh, look how cute he is. It's a one blue and one. He is a beastly machine. It's six, six villains. When this card is destroyed, you may search your deck for a machine. Reveal and put in your hand. If you do, uh, shuffle your deck. All right. You may play this card outside the game as long as it's revealed by uh, paying black rather than its cost. And then Revolution Flying. Uh, Non-machine J resonators your opponent's control. Lose all abilities. Yes. 
Yeah, this card is insanely good. Yes. If you're playing Typhon, you're playing this card. Just in general. Yeah. It's it's literally a different Missile Tine, because, you know, Missile Tine was already good enough. And villains get a second one now to be like, hey, cool. Hey, we'll just do don't this. do your thing again, please. Yeah. Um, but this one is non-Machine J Resonators, and it's your opponent control. So it does, it is one-sided, which kind of crazy. And the, and if you play, you know, just sideboard this guy out if you're playing a mirror match. Yeah, Mans is really good. Yeah. Definitely use him. Mechanized Water Soldier. He is two blue for a 7-7 seven, seven machine with the chainsaw blade. Yeah, what is he cutting with that water? Or yeah. that water with that chainsaw? Uh, remove this card in your graveyard from the game. Produce a blue. Spin this wheel to only play machines. That's going to get busted real quick. Yep. Um, Union 7 machine. This card gains the following text in all zones as long as you as long as you control in public zones and own revealed outside the game. A combination of seven or more machines with different names. Weird. Remove this card in your graveyard from the game. Produce three blue. Spin this only will to play machines. So it's a cool little dude. I don't really know how well it's going to be used in general. Yeah. Like it's, it's it's a combo deck. It's kind of combo of a piece. Somebody somewhere is going to mess with it and break it. I don't think it'll be me because I don't like <laughs> machines that much. Yeah. And it's it's neat, but it's not my kind of card. Meh. Yeah, yeah, literally what he just said. Meh. But anything that you can sacrifice for free to produce a will, someone's going to bust it. Yeah. Poseidon, the second Olympian. is a one blue Olympian god. It's a 1-7 tells. Enter. Or when this card is revealed, you may return up to one target non-magic stone non j really entity you control to its owner's hand. Ooh, I don't know about that one. And when this card attacks or blocks, it gains plus six until in a turn. Meh. And then with the Union 7, draw three cards, you may put 12 Olympian God Resonator from your hand in the field. That part is okay. Uh, then I don't like this card, honestly, because it kind of just does nothing for one. And you could rather do a lot of things with one blue. Yeah, I mean... And so one seven, it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, it does say you control, so it allows you to bounce your own dudes to get more triggers off of their stuff. Yeah. But in the same regard, like, there could be better... Honestly, he's yeah. cool. I I would. And he you're gonna want to use one in the Olympian deck because you have to. Yeah, and it says non-J ruler, so you can't even bounce a dude that's tied to your Zeus or whatever your yeah. ruler to be able to free him up to do more. Yeah. So, so meh. Yeah, if you're playing Olympians, you're gonna want to play at least one because you kind of have to. Because it's just one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it is still kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, next we have the Terminator drone. It is one blue for one one machine. Quick cast. Enter dry card. Neat. Yep. When this card is destroyed, put target resonator your opponent controls on the bottom of its owner's deck. This yes. card's getting way better. All right. When this card becomes revealed from outside the game, target J resonator cannot attack or block, and its controller cannot play its activated abilities until the turn. Hell yeah. Definitely one of the best normals I've seen in a minute. Yep. Because it does a lot for you. It yeah. replaces itself, and when it dies, it Remo gets rid of a dude. Something. Oh, it has internal. I don't care. Just put <laughs> yeah. It. it goes to sleep underneath the deck. Yeah, it can go away. It is a Terminator drone, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. It's definitely worth playing if you're playing machine stuff. Yeah, and it's one blue quick cast. Done. Get it Get it over with. The Essence of Dark... I was going to say Dr. X. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. what, uh, Deus Ex Machina's power. One blue quick cast. Return target Resonator to its owner's hand. Not J Resonator, just Resonator. And Force Olympians does its thing. And then as you play this card, you may order it. If it was a Resonator spell, put a 4-4 machine and then get to swap everything out. These, this card sucks. These essence suck. <laughs> Just don't play them. Yeah, I, they're they're usable, but like I said, you gotta pick the right one. Yeah. Uh, the essence of Loki's power. It is two blue chant. Quick cast. Draw two cards. Uh, in Olympians, you can make a six six water beast resonator token, and then if it's ordered, blah blah blah, so forth, so on. This one I think is the one of the better ones yeah. on top of the make two will mana one. These two are really good because it's literally draw two cards and get a dude. Yeah. To block or in a turn draw two cards because yeah. who, who doesn't love doing that yeah pretty strong so that essence is really strong for using in the zeus deck yeah the water of zeus here's one of those cool ones one blue quick cast draw a card has olympians force resonance uh draw a card so you draw two and then remove this card from the graveyard uh and then the, the other zeus's get to be played for free not too bad yeah this one minute draw two i like it yeah, yeah that's way good Pretty good if they're playing the Olympian stuff. Zwei Hunter Mechanized Roundtable Destroyer. So angry. Yes. One blue and seven for a dragon machine. 
He has a 1000-1000 villain flying. He is the pre-release card that we saw earlier. Uh, you may pay one less to card, one less to play this card for each different name among machines you own revealed outside the game. Yep. You may play this card from outside the game as long as it's revealed by paying black and seven rather than paying its cost. <laughs> okay. Uh, Revolution, enter, put all non-Magic Stone, non j roll into your opponent controls on the bottom of the owner's deck in any order. Cute. So if you get to play him... That's the key word, get to. Yeah, because he costs a lot even outside the game. I yeah. mean, yeah, you have different things revealed, but... It's still eight mana yeah. in a game that is one or two to four mana. Yeah. And like four is pushing it. Or even two to four turns per round. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So like eight mana is a lot, even though it does cost less. So he is a thing, but I don't know if you'd have more than one of them revealed. Nope. Like I would have the one just so you can have the ability, but don't stress it. Don't. Yeah, exactly. And that is it for blue. And we're going to, and we're going to delve into green next. Algernon is our first one. Wise Observer. It's one green and one quick cast. Tells 5-7. Your opponent cannot play cards with total cost greater than the number of magic stones they control. Thank you. It's so good. And then enter. Return target spell or non-magic stone entity your opponent controls with total cost equal to or greater than, greater than the number of magic stones they control to its owner's hand. If you do, draw a card. So it's going to do that no matter what. Yeah. So, so you basically you're telling your opponent no all the time. Revolution, if need be, if if an ability or effect the, of this card would check the number of magic stones your opponent controls, you may have it refer to that number of minus the number of J rulers they control instead. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah. Algernon is super strong. Yeah, super strong. Because he's just like, hey, you want to cheat? No, stop. Stop. You don't get to. Stop doing extra things on your turn. I don't want you to do them. Yeah. So essentially what he means is if you have one mana or you have one stone, you can play one drops. Yep. That's it. That's it. And if he's revolutioned and you only have one ruler, you don't get to play one drops. Yeah. Because it subtracts bit by one. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's two rulers, subtract two, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So those dual rulers, yeah, you can, if you have three stones, play that one drop because that's all you can do. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of silly. Sorry. And then he automatically bounces something. So if they have a one drop and they only have one thing, one stone, you're like, well, bounce it and you can't play it again. Or if they're like, turn two, then use a uh, energize, then you're like, go back, put that back in your hand. No, thank you. Well, I mean, they can use energize, but they can only play one drops. Yep, exactly. So. Well, I mean, when he enters the field, return to oh, yeah, spell. Yeah, yeah. Or put that, yeah, 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 that's yeah. what he's mean. Like get, get get that spell back in there and play it on your the right turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for cheating. This is this card's gonna be as. Punishable as Lorite, I feel like. Yeah, he's, I, in my opinion, he's as punishable on the tail side as Mistletine is for villains. Yeah. So he's kind of like the anti, like the opposite of Mistletine. Not as, they both have their both upsides. Get your play set and play them in every yeah, green. Yeah, definitely play made. that card. Yeah. Artemis is the fifth Olympian. She is a oh, yeah. green and one for a six, seven tails quick cast. Enter or whenever it's gotten. You choose one. Recover up to two target magic stones you control, or up to two target J residents gain flying until the end of turn. Seems about right. Uh, Union seven. You pay one less to play this card and enter. Destroy all J residents with flying your opponent controls. This is definitely a cool one for Olympians. It's not really a good one to use otherwise. Nope. Uh, it does. It does allow you to play it for free, so you can re recover. Like it's literally a free six seven, which yeah. is kind of cool. Um, so know that. Because it's on enter trigger, so anyone can be like, hey, cool, enter trigger. And it's a quick cast, so, you know. Yeah. And a turn, do this, probably, and play. This is great. If you have three in your hand, then you just play all three at the end of the turn, turn two. <laughs> yeah. Simple as that. And this art's so good. Yeah, it's a really cool art, yeah. Yeah, it's good. All right. Uh, Drawer wing mechanize wind of destruction. Two green and one dragon machine. So it's an 8-8 eight, eight that's balling with all his guns. So enter, recover all magic stones you control, then... Then rest all magic stones your opponent controls. Uh, that's gross. Uh, when this card becomes revealed from outside the game, recover target magic stone you control. So awesome. Your opponent can only produce will by playing activate abilities of magic stones you they control as long as the card is revealed outside the game. And what does this stop, Kevin? Yeah, so this stops pretty much everything and it stops Energize Coin. So currently, as of what we read of the CR, it does stop Energize Coin because Energize says banish and produce a will. Yeah. And it is not from a stone, so you don't get to have Energize. Yep. Simple as that. So if they go turn one, reveal this guy, then you don't get your Energize. 
unless you do it in response but i mean it's still very difficult still very like this very dude difficult. is insanely good he is gonna be played and he is gonna be a thing so you make sure you need to have a way to deal with him and there is a way to deal with him even though he's revealed from outside the game so we'll get to that yeah um but know that this is a card that will be seeing play because he stops your opponent he literally says do not play things bigger if you don't just like stones. that mouse yeah like you better use your stones otherwise you don't get mana insane so kind of gross definitely pick him up because he's definitely usable yeah i alone am the world honored one it is too green for a chant quick cast you pay a green less to play this if you control a card named shaka and then recover target entity draw a card it's neat that's cute i don't really like it because nope. it requires another card to do something and yeah it doesn't no. do a lot for you i don't feel like it doesn't do enough for it to make it worth it yeah if it was one green on its own then maybe you can swing again with your j ruler or something make it a combo piece aggro thing but besides that no yeah i just don't feel like it's cool i, I don't even think it's good unlimited really yeah like it's it's neat but i don't feel like it's good yeah all right, here's the card that I need, Shaka's, uh, Shiva's successor. So one green, mini, it is a Mimi tribe, so 4-4, four, four, Villain's Pierce, green. j Res Energy Control, gain plus four, plus four until end of turn. If this card is not order, play this ability only once per turn. Wow, so it's a, if it is revolutionized, you get to do more. If an effect would increase attack or defense of j Res Energy Control, it increases double that much instead. And when effect would increase attack or defense of J Resoners, you control it increases that much instead. If it decreases. Oh, decreases. Okay. Nice. So yeah, if something increases it, it doubles it. And if it decreases it, it increases it that much instead. Yeah. So, oh yeah, so it makes it to where you dudes can't be decreased because it changes it from decrease to increase, which is really cool. Yeah. So this could be a great sideboard card if you're playing like a green aggro deck or... <sighs> I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. If you're playing Mimi's, you put this bit, you play her because yeah. she's super strong in Mimi's. She's just as good as a Jim Mimi because you're like, hey, my dudes are big. Or, Real big. Or even revolutionize, then you just pay green, pump this guy three times, and you win the game. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's so it's good. Kind of nuts. In Limited, this is a huge bomb. Yeah, Limited, the, you play this and you win. <laughs> yeah, you're like, my dudes are big. All my dudes are real, real, real big. big. Uh, spirit of Growth. It is one green for a 1-1 one, one spirit. Enter, you gain X100 life, where X, and then put X100 counters on this card, where X is the number of cards in your removed area. Okay. Remove a 1-1 one, one counter from this card, target J Resonator gains plus 2, plus 2. So, cool. It helps you do things in removed thing, areas, yeah. but we'll have to see what all it can do otherwise, because it's kind of meh at the moment, but we'll see what other like stuff in removed areas you can do. Limited, good. Otherwise, it's meh. Yeah. Are the essence of Kagu's power. It's a green and a one. Quick cast, cancel target spell unless the controller pays two. Say something like this. Force Resonance Olympians. And then as you play this card, you may order it. If you do Resonator spell, you get a four, four cat resonator token in the field. And then you do the whole swap thing. It's it's one of the better ones because it's still a counter spell. Yeah. With Olympians, it's a counter spell or it's a ordered counter spell, which yeah. is really cool. Normally, it's just a two mana counter target spell unless they pay two. So yeah. that's still really good. It's but yeah. still kind of effy, though. Because there's a lot of two power ones or free that yeah. will just counter spell anyway. Uh, the essence of Shiva's power. It is one green, quick cast. Target J Resonator you control gets plus six, plus six to the turn. Then the chosen target deals damage equal to its attack to target J Resonator your opponent controls. And then if it's ordered as an Olympian, because you can order it, uh, put a 5 5 Mimi tribe token into play, and then it goes back to normal. I like this one a lot too because it gives your dude big and it kills the blocker it, in your It way. is a nice fight card for one green. Yeah. Perfect. I like it for that. So I would, so far, I've seen the Alice one, this one, the Kaguya one are really the only three that I've probably played. Yeah. So far. Or the draw two one. Was that yeah. Loki? Yeah, that was Loki. Yeah, yeah. Next is the Wind of Zeus. It is two green uh, quick cast. Remove target spell from the game. Awesome. That's it. That's all you need. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> so, okay, the uh, Force the Resonance Olympian. Players cannot chase to this card and remove this card from the graveyard and do all the other Light Zeus ones. This one's real good. So, this card literally negates the one we just talked about. Yeah. The Essence of Kugui's so Power. So, why even play that? So, for two mana, you literally remove the spell from the game. Like, they don't get that spell. Nope. It's, it's, and it is technically a counter spell because it removes it from play. Like, yeah. it's just gone. You're playing the thing and you're like, no, get away. Get, get, get out, out of here. here. And if you're Olympians, then you get to make it where it's uncounterable, which is very annoying. And you get to find it, yeah. It's yep. pretty neat. Yep. And they can't chase it. So pretty good. sweet. 
Uh, next is Tree of Growth. It is one green addition with the goofy looking squirrel. Yeah, I love it. for sure. Uh, enter, draw a card. Force Resonance Rebirth. This card gains the following text as long as you have Rebirth. Uh, you may play this card without paying its cost if you do not control a card named Rebirth, Tree of Regrowth, or Tree of Growth. Okay. When a J resonator enters the field in your control, put two more counters on it. Put X cards from your removed area into the graveyard. You be, you gain X hundred life. Play this ability once per turn. Huh. Wow. Okay. So in Athenia is how you play this card. Otherwise, this card is really not good. Nope. Because it's just one mana draw card and it's addition. It's kind of cool. Or but... free the first time you play it. Yeah, if you're a Athenia. Yeah. Um. So it's weird. Yeah, when the J resonator is filled under your control, put two more counters on it. I, I have a weird green Athenia deck brewing in my head for aggro now, just because of this and the Mimi dude from before. Yeah, it's kind of a silly card. I think it'll be playable and useful in like a weird way. Yeah. But we'll just have to see what we can do with all of that. We'll make it a maybe. Just a yeah. Pat it on the head. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 there. That was green. Yeah, that was green. Green was terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're gonna delve into black right now. Okay, with a. That was me or you? No, that was you. All right, sorry. Next, black arena expansion Mount Orthrays. It's a two black, it is a machine as an addition. Darkness chance in your hand gain quick cast, amazing. When an, well, almost everything has quick cast anymore, so whatever. Whenever <laughs> yeah. a non-token machine resonator you control is put in the graveyard from the field, put a four four uh, darkness machine resonator token on the field, cool. Machine resonators control gain plus two, plus two, so it's a six six if it's a resonator, and then Force Resonance Infinity. It has Eternal. And when this card becomes revealed from outside the game, put it on the field. This card's good. Yeah, if you're playing Dragon Man's, the, the uh, Infinity Dragon Typhon, you play this card. Yeah. You reveal it, like, probably first. Uh, immediately, just put it in the field, and then you get a token when you start playing non-token machines, and then it's just, it overwhelms. And I know people are gonna be like, well, those green cards were good. I'm not saying, <laughs> Well, yes, I'm saying all but two cards of <laughs> yeah, green. Most of the green cards were pretty bad. Okay. Uh, but this one, this, this is really strong. Yeah. From what I've seen in the arena expansions, they're all really good. This set, all of them are really strong. Uh, next is Athenia enters the game of gods. It is one black chant. The artwork is amazing. That's super amazing. Uh, your opponent banishes a resonator. If they don't, they discard a card. Perfect. Force resonance death. Uh, you may remove up to three cards in your graveyard from the game, then draw three cards, draw X cards where X is the number of cards removed this way. Force Resonance Rebirth, you may put up to three cards from your removed area into your graveyard, then recover at Y entities where Y is the number of cards put into your graveyard this way. Yeah. So I like this card a lot. It just yeah. depends on if you have an ordered dude or not on what you do. Like, yeah. It's cool because it gives you extra abilities of doing things. The, the one I like the most is the death one because you draw three cards, essentially. Yeah. The other one, well, three entities. For one, you get to untap three stones if need be. So you can kind of like semi mana ramp that way, but we'll see what happens. Yes. Athenia is definitely going to be one of those decks that has to be built Tinkered. and made and like messed with a lot yeah. to figure out all kinds of weird things it can do. Uh, Decay of the Machines is one black quick cast. You may put up to two revealed cards from outside the game into their owner's graveyards. Draw a card. This is a rare. Yeah. Because of so many revealed things, do all the bonuses. You're like, no warrant, get them out. Yeah, but this card is with a card I was talking about that allows you to stop Dry Wing and all the other cards that do things outside the game. Yeah. So I would definitely, if you're playing black, you definitely sideboard this card. Yeah. Regardless of whatever else, because it's literally stop what you're doing, put all that stuff away. Like, just, just go it. Go. So it's definitely a sideboard card for sure. Um, in certain decks at the moment it probably is main boardable i wouldn't say more than like two main board yeah but it's definitely main boardable if you wanted to uh shonda machine mechanized monster it's a one black uh quick cast so it's a god machine four four it's villains quick cast bane revolution this card gets plus six plus six so it's a one drop ten ten enter you may reveal up to two machines you own outside from the game keep them revealed until in the game this card is a pivotal thing for the, your deck, the yeah. machines. Yeah, if you're playing villains, this card is insane yeah. with villains play, and machines. Play four of immediately. Yeah, you're playing Typhon, you run this card because yeah. it's a 10-10 for one mana with Bane. Yeah, and you don't even have to like, you can do it at the end of the turn. You can go turn one, pass, go, and then do all this shenanigans yeah, like, stuff. There's so much that this thing gets to do. That thing's great. 
Uh, next is Gil Lapis, Vampire Guardian. He is two black for vampire. He is a 7-7 seven, seven, Tails Quick Cast. Enter. Put the top four cards of your deck into your graveyard, then put a resonator from your graveyard into your hand. Revolution. Enter. Put X-1-1 counters on this card where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. Your opponent loses Y life, and J resonators your opponent controls gain minus Y minus Y until the end of turn, where Y is the number of 1-1 one, one counters on this card. So if you stack this right, then you get to put X counters on this card and then kill their board and make them lose life. This is great. Yeah, for Athenia, this card is insane because she's all about having cards in her graveyard that do things. Yeah. And he's just insanely good for two mana quick cast because it's a quick cast board wipe that makes them lose life. Yeah, which is amazing because even turn two, whatever, he, you get four at least. At least the bare minimum is four counters on it. So it's what, it's an 11-11 that makes things die. Because everything, usually one drop or two drop is a four life. So yeah, this thing's great. Yeah. This card's really good. Yeah, and it's since it's Revolution, he's uncounterable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know. So even if you do a combo deck of where everything's in the graveyard and then you just plop him out and you're like, aha, you're dead. Yeah, he allows you to kill it in out of nowhere too. So yeah. that's kind of nuts. Exactly. All right. Uh, Hades, the fourth Olympian, is three black and one. He is an Olympian god. It's, he's a 10-10. Tells. Enter, or when it's revealed, you get to target J Resonator, loses all abilities until in a turn, then destroy it. Perfect, because we, we do need that. Tab, destroy target J Resonator. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. And then with the Union 7, uh, rulers your opponent's control loses all abilities, just in general. It says rulers. It doesn't even say J Rulers. Yeah. So does that mean you can revolutionize or anything? I don't know. I think so. I think we got to look that up for sure. And then enter, destroy all <laughs> magic stones. That's the big one when you're like, hey, let's kill all your lands. And, oh, uh, you know, yeah. you don't get to playing again. You know, yeah. Because you're already going to be like, I have a 10 10 dude. For four mana, yeah, the, this is all worth of whatever it needs to happen. But so in order to do that other stuff, you need seven other dudes revealed. Mm -hmm. But him just being tapped to start target J Resonator is pretty good. This one is most definitely a usable one in Olympians, and he's yeah. probably one of your big ones to get with Olympians because. The Zeus deck gets to go search for all the Olympians and do what they want when they want, which is kind of nutty. So mm -hmm. you're like, you can mana ramp to this dude easily because the white cards that give you free mana to play dudes. And you get to go search him up, which is gross. Yeah. You search something up and then you kill a thing. That's very powerful, very awesome. Oh, yeah. He is really good. Yeah, he's very good. Uh, Lich, the Immortal Saint. He has one black for a 4 4 wizard. Tails, enter. If there are no cards in your graveyard, destroy all their J resonators. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Revolution, he has Bane. Enter, if there are no cards in your removed area, put target Resonator from your graveyard into the field. Wait. I like this dude a whole lot. I like that guy a lot too, because what if you don't even deal with your rev removed area at all? You just play him just be like, all right, this guy that I put in the graveyard real quick, he's in the field now. Yeah, I get my free dude. I get my free Gil Lapis and, you know, So things. limited bomb, almost, I would think. Yeah, limited is a huge bomb. Yeah, because bring back any big dude from the graveyard that you just tossed there, done. Or, or kill your opponent's board. Or kill your opponent's board, because why not? This Ooh. dude is really strong. Mm. Angry Saint. <laughs> uh, mechanized Children of Kronos. It's a one black and one god machine. 7-7. Seven, seven. Destroy machine entity you control. If you do, your opponent discards two cards. Okay. You may play this card from outside the game as long as it's revealed. And then when this card becomes revealed, outside the game, put a 4-4 four, four darkness machine token on the field. Okay, there's a small, like, normal amount of these out here, but that's pretty, it's not too bad. I like it for what it does. It's limited, it's really good. Yeah, for sure. Because it makes, it kills you, it kills a dude and makes a dude, so it's really cool and limited. I don't know how many I would use in Constructed, but, I mean, it's a thing. Because you want your, you want your machines. Unless you sacrifice a token from that thing creating them, then it's perfect. Yeah. Mechanized Children of Gaia. It is one black and one for a 7-7. Seven, seven. Enter, destroy a machine you control. If you do, your opponent banishes two resonators. Better. Uh, you may play this card from outside the game since it's revealed. And when it becomes revealed from outside the game, make a 4-4 four, four dude. Yeah. So this one's really good too because it's kill your own dude. You banish two dudes. Yeah. And I get to make my own dude to kill it. So, you know. That one's better for sure. I do like this one a lot better than the other one, but it's still really, really strong. Yeah. So limited bomb. Good if you build it right. And with the machines, yeah. Uh, Mikage Sedro, this art's amazing. It's one black and seven, another one. It's a 15-15 with uh, Tails Flying Drain. 
As long as you play this card from the removed area or any number of cards in your graveyard from the game, you may pay one less to play this card for each card removed this way. Uh, one darkness, uh, discard this card, put top three cards of your deck into your graveyard. So that's gonna help a lot. Revolution, uh, once during your turn, you may play a resonator from your removed area. <laughs> Yeah, this dude's super cool. Yeah. I like this dude a whole lot. I think he's gonna be really strong. Yes, he has the same stipulation. They cost eight mana, but if you do get him in play, then you just get to be like, hey, cool, I'm playing dudes. I mean, honestly, just discarding this guy, putting the top three things in your graveyard and playing that other dude that's a one drop revolutionize, bring him back. Because you probably won't have anything in the removed area. You just have a 15 flying drain <laughs> yeah. turn two. Yeah, a 15 15 flying drain is pretty nuts. Some, sometimes the basics is all you need <laughs> yeah. to win the game. Yeah, definitely usable. Uh, Necromancer of Ma'at. It is one black for a 4 4 wizard. Treat this card in your graveyard or removed area as four cards while paying cost of spells or abilities you control. That's good. So, all those cards we just talked about, like Mikage that needs seven cards removed. You remove her for four. Yeah. You're like, hey, that costs us four cards. Neat. If, if you're building around it, that's what you need, all four of them. Oh, yeah, for sure. Or Borzuki, Vampire Astrologer. <laughs> it's two words I never thought I would say together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one Darkness, two, two. Tails, Flying, Drain, Bane. Enter. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Put one of them in your hand. Put the rest in the graveyard and remove, and remove one of them from the game. And then put uh, X11 one, one counters on this card where X is a combined number of cards in your graveyard and cards in your removed area. Jeez. Revolution. When a card is put in your graveyard from the removed area, put two 1-1 one, one counters on this card. Remove a 1-1 one, one counter on this card. J resonators your opponent controls gain minus two, minus two until in the turn. There's a lot you can do with her. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. I think it's really cool because it's literally just a one minute, I'm huge. Yeah. Because if you're already putting cards in the graveyard and removed area and that other card counts as four, then you're like, cool, let's get some counters on her for one mana. Yeah. Because it counts both the removed and the graveyard for her. So you're just like, I get free counters. And even if you don't do anything with the counters, you're yeah. just like, she's a big dude. Yeah. She's flying drain bane. She's going to gain flying you life drain bane by turn one. I'll do a whole lot. Yeah. And then if I need to kill your stuff, I can blanket your board for minus four minus or minus two minus two each time. When you revolutionize, does it, you automatically mill cards? I on what? On uh, the ruler. No, does she doesn't fade. do anything. Okay. She doesn't do anything on that. Just making sure. But yeah, no, she's a Borazuki I like a lot. I think she's gonna be really strong in terms of what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, Spirit of Decay is one black, one one spirit. Enter, put X1 counters on this card and your opponent it loses X life for X's number of cards in your graveyard. Yay! Remove a one counter from this card, target J Resonator gains minus two, minus two until the turn. It is a little Borazuki. I don't think it's worth playing over the other one because the Borazuki does this ability better. Unless you're doing Graveyard Machine Gun, which I'm going to make now, because there's yeah. two cards that do the same thing. Yeah. So yeah, done. The Darkness of Zeus, it's two, uh, two black. Your opponent removes two cards from their hand from the game, done. Has Olympian text, and then uh, it has quick cast because of the Olympians, and then remove this card from the graveyard from the game, and you may play the next ones for free. So Light, Fire, Zeus, and all that fun stuff. That can be good. I like this because it can be a free remove two cards from your opponent's hand. Yeah, that is true. The other ones is like you draw a card and then remove two cards. Thanks. Yeah, but this one is literally you may play the next one free. Yeah. So if you draw two and then you're like the next one's free, you discard two, you're up so much value. Yeah. Uh, the Essence of Athenia's Power. It is one black chant, quick cast. Choose one, remove all cards and target player's graveyard from the game. Put all cards from target player's removed area into their graveyard. So it fixes all the problems. Uh, and then Olympians, you get a 4-4 Darkness Zombie token into the field. And then same with the Order. This one is by far the best one. Yeah. Because it literally stops all the problems right now. Yep. You're like, oh, your graveyard's doing things? Remove it. Oh, your removed area's doing things? Put it in the put graveyard. It graveyard. Yeah, perfect. Four in sideboard if need be. Probably not that many, but... The quintessential sideboard card. Yeah, definitely a sideboard good card. Even one in the main board just in case of all yeah. the shenanigans. I like this art. So Essence of Dante's Power, it's one black and one. Quick cast, your opponent banishes the Resonator with the highest attack amongst all Resonators they control. With the Olympians, as you play this card, you may order it as if it were a Resonator spell. And if you do, you get a 6-6 Fallen Angel token with flying. Seems about right. Yeah, 
pretty good. I would still have like one of them in this for this because it's it's a kill spell. Yeah. But the other ones I think are still better. Next up is Themis, the mechanized god of law. He is a black and three for an 8-8 villains with quick cast. As you play this card, you may pay 500 or 1,000 life. You pay one less to play this card for each 500 life you pay this way. Okay. So you can cost two mana, which is pretty cool. Um, cards in your, and in Revolution, cards in your opponent's deck lose all races. Enter, your opponent loses X life or X is the amount of life you paid this turn. I like it. Another yeah. one. This dude's really, really cool for multiple reasons. In the formats right now, he totally shuts down Kaguya because you're like, hey, cool, your moons, they don't matter. You know? You yeah. Know. I mean, it's the ones in your deck, so it doesn't stop it as much, but like the Olympian dudes, good luck. Yep. Sorry, bro. They don't matter. You don't there. get your things and your machines, you don't get those either. He is a really good, just anti search your deck for a thing card. Pretty good. I like it. All right, the next one is the Tree of Decay. It's an addition, one black. Enter your opponent, banishes a card. Seems good. Force Resonance is Death. Um, da, da, da. You may play this card without paying its cost if you don't control a card named Death of Decay. Remove X cards from your graveyard from the game. Your opponent loses X hundred life plus this ability. Only play this ability only once per turn. Yep. I'm making this deck <laughs> for sure. Yeah, your opponent discarding a card for one mana and That's then good. or free every turn being like, hey, take damage yep. because I have extra cards in my graveyard. Just do it. I don't care. This could be really dumb, especially with that Lich we talked about, because if he has that there's no cards in your graveyard, then you do things and yeah. you just remove... It's silly. Silly. This is good. Silly, silly, silly. I like it. Uh, Typhon's Antibodies. It is one black for a Dragon Machine 2-2. Two, two. You may have any number of copies of this card in your deck. Swiftness, Precision, Flying, and Pierce. This card cannot attack your opponent as long as they control a J Resonator. This card gains plus two plus two for each card named typhon's antibodies you control in public zones and you own revealed outside the game force resonance infinity when this card becomes revealed from outside the game draw a card simple as that this card is really good for typhon because you're going to play a whole lot of them yep and just because it says your you can't attack your opponent does not mean you can't attack so if you have lots of these dudes you're like cool kill your dudes yep kill, kill your dudes I their dudes care. are tapped i'm gonna kill your dudes because they have precision yeah and swiftness so these do still get to attack, even if they have a J, you just get to kill whatever they want. And they're super big all the time, every time. Yeah, yeah this this guy's going to be a problem. Yeah, Typhon is going to be very annoying because these exist and another this card as well. Yeah, uh, which is Typhon's blood it is two black machine chant. You may have any number of copies in the card of the deck. You may play only one card named Typhon's blood per turn. So your turn, your opponent's turn. Draw a card, then produce a black. If there are six or more cards named Typhon's Blood in your graveyard, draw two cards, then produce two black instead. And then, uh, with the infinity, because you will have it, you may pay two bless, black less to play this card. So you get free free will, and yeah, that's insane. You get a free draw two Yeah, free draw two. two. Mana. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, okay. I do this once per turn. Neat. Cool. I, don't, I don't know what else I want to do, but I get to. It's going to be free, so why not? And my life's already huge, so you can't stop me. Yep. Because I'm playing Typhon. Sorry. Uh, Typhon's Cells. It is a one black machine. It looks like an alien. Yep. Uh, it's a 4-4. Discard this card. Produce a black. Spin this only to play machines. Simple as that. Neat. Force Resonance Infinity. When this card becomes revealed from outside the game, draw X cards where X is the combined number of cards named Typhon Cells you control in public zones and you reveal own revealed outside the game. Neat. Okay. So if you play this card, you want to have like one in the outside of game and then three in the main board. Because you want to have them. Yeah. And then you reveal the one to draw extra cards. To make it easier to, for you to be able to do that. I mean, that way you get actual value out of it because you get to do that. And if anything, it's a mana ramp. Or you can do two and two because you can still do multiple reveals, but yeah. you just don't get extra value out of it. So Ridiculous. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Very, very weird. So whenever somebody figures out Typhon, it's going to be interesting because yeah. he's going to be a weird deck to it's play. Be a major combo off Typhon's heart. It is a machine, so four black. It's a zero four thousand villains. You can you can't lose the game. Cool. When this card leaves the field, you lose the game, and you have infinity. Uh, when this card becomes revealed from outside the game, your life becomes your starting life total again. This is what is driving everyone insane. Put this card on to the field, then discard your hand, draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Uh, yep, so here we go. 
We'll see what happens. So yeah, you ready to play against Typhon and they get you get to play one game? Yep. Because you're gonna restart. <laughs> yeah. Although thankfully it is a resonator, so you can kill it with a kill spell immediately. And when you reveal the card, your life total becomes starting life total, and then you put it on the field. Yeah, so it has to come into play when it gets revealed, so that is kind of the plus. Um, but in the downside is if you play any of the, like, target thing loses all abilities, you don't get to make them lose the game then. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, oh, great. You just, you kill it, yeah, but, I mean, they don't lose. Uh, yeah, nothing. <laughs> It's kind of so, neat, but we're gonna find someone who just makes it impossible for them to lose the game. And like Kevin <laughs> yeah. said, one round, cool. They win the first one, of course, and then that's it. That's all they need to do. Yeah, because if this is done probably correctly, you're gonna go to time, and yeah. it kind of sucks. But that's just how it's gonna. That's be. how Force of Will works. And I mean, Inferno is really good against Typhon, <laughs> but in the same regard, they could just be like, "I'm back at a hundred, yay, yay. Number two hundred, neat." Typhon's Wave of Terror. It is one black machine. It is a chant machine. Your opponent discards X cards where X is the combined number of cards named Typhon's Wave of Terror you control in public zones and owned outside the game. Okay. Force Resonance Infinity. When this card becomes revealed outside the game, your opponent discards X cards where X is the combined number of cards named Typhon's Wave of Terror you oh, control wow. in public zones and owned outside the game. So if you reveal, then you can do one, and then the next turn you can probably do just two. Well, if you... Okay, so with this card and the other black card we talked about earlier, Echidna. Let me get to her. Hold on. There we go. Yeah. You may reveal two machines you own from outside the game and keep them revealed till the end of the game. So you reveal two of those. Oh, wow. Then they discard three altogether. Because you do one and then one, right? Or if it's at the same time. Uh, it becomes... Gains the following text in all zones as long as it's there. So... Becomes revealed from outside the game, your opponent discards X, where X is the number. So you make them discard at least two. Yeah. So turn one, you're like, hey, discard two. And That's I get good. a big dude. Yeah. Neat. Pretty strong. That's pretty good. And with that, we'll go into the multicolor. The first one is Aphrodite, the 10th Olympian. It's a blue and a white for 1,000. So here we go, because these have a lot of mm -hmm. words on them. And you know how I deal with words. <laughs> Olympian cards, tails, enter. Or when it is revealed, if damage would be dealt to you, it is dealt to this card instead. Okay, you may play this card as if it had quick cast as long as you control in public zones and own revealed outside the game. It combined total number of six or more Olympian guards with different names. And then if you have Union 7, which is weird that they did that, if you would gain life, you would gain double that amount instead. If you would draw a card, you draw two cards instead. It's silly, but it is a 410 for two. And if you're playing an Olympian deck, you might as well play it. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, just the Olympian deck, you're playing one of all these dudes because you get to go get them whenever and do all, do kinds all of the shenanigans. shenanigans. Yeah, weird. Arena expansion, flourishing bone field. Okay. It is a red, black, and a green edition. It is her. It is Athena's arena. Darkness, magic stones. You control, gain, tap, produce <sighs> a green. That's what I need. <laughs> Force resonance, death. You may remove three cards from your graveyard rather than pay this card's cost. Okay. Enter, your opponent discards a card and banishes a resonator and loses five life. I like it. Solid. I like it. Uh, Force Resonance Rebirth. You may put three cards from your removed area in your graveyard rather than pay this card's cost. Enter, draw a card, then recover target resonator, and you gain five life. All right. This is a little awkward and weird. Death is obviously going to be way easier to do than Rebirth. Yeah, but if you need to do reset your stuff, then Rebirth is helpful for you. Yeah, so yeah. it just depends on what you're doing and how your field looks at the time. Yeah, how you build her, pretty yeah. much. She she seems like a really fun ruler to play and do kinds of weird things with. So if you're playing Athena, you're playing Serena. If you're not, you're not. Because yeah. this card is not like so good otherwise. Not that great, yeah. But this Serena's expansion, Mount Olympias, is uh, Ruberg, all colors, Eternal Barrier, just to start off with. This card was put in your hand from the deck by the effect of an enter ability card named Order of Olympians. You control, you may put it on the field instead. So it's super easy to get there. Uh, Resonance Olympians, tap, discard a card, draw a card. If you discard a 12 uh, Olympian God, that way draw two cards instead. Tap, put an Olympian Gods from your graveyard onto the bottom of your deck. So you can go search it up and do all the things. And this is a 12 Olympian God, so you get to go search it with yep. your thing. And reveal it, and it uh, shows as one. Ridiculous. And it comes in and play, and it has Eternal and Barrier, so you can't get rid of it. 
and it literally helps you set up for Union 7. So it is really, really strong in that regard. Yeah. Because if you discard a new 12 Olympian, you get to get more cards to get to 11, to get to 7 dudes. So it's definitely worth doing. Arena Expansion Valley of the Dragons. It is white, blue, red edition. It is Dragon Flames. Whenever a dragon J resonator enters the field in your control, it does damage equal to its attack to your opponent, and you gain life equal to its defense. Yes, please. Force Resonance Flame. It gains Eternal. You pay a blue and a white less to play this card if your dragon power is 20 or more. And then enter. If your dragon power is 100 or more, you may put any number of resonators from your hand <laughs> and or graveyard into the field. This card's pretty good. Yep. It's really good for Dragon Flame because you're just like, hey, free damage every turn when I make a J because he orders it and makes it a dragon. Yep. So you're like, cool, free damage. Or even uh, just the dragons you play, it's just free damage. Yeah. And speaking of that turn one dragon, it has <laughs> yeah. power, you know, if it has 20 or more, you're already dealing 20 damage when it comes in. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Pretty good arena expansions. Yeah. Like I said, all the arena expansions in the set are really, really good. And if you have 100 more, you're just being silly. Yeah, you're just winning. Yeah. Ares, the eighth Olympian. Jesus. All right, here we go. It's a <laughs> yeah. green, white Olympian god. Seven, seven. Quick cast. Enter. Or when it's revealed, skip a bunch of stuff. Cancel target spell or activate automatic abilities unless the controller plays X, where X is the number of different names among Olympian gods you control in public zones or Olympian gods revealed outside the game. Cool. Union 7. Does all the things. Whenever a spell or ability your opponent controls is canceled by a spell or ability... <laughs> Uh, you control, remove up to two target magic stones, no, Wait, recover. recover up to two magic stones. The source's canceled ability is a J resonator. Uh, destroy that J resonator. Okay. So he's like a Lorite plus. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, he gets to counter whatever you want. Cancel target spell or activate ability or automatic ability unless you pay X. And then if you hit a uh, thing with Union 7, like a creature, like an order, you're like, hey, cool, kill that dude. Kill it. And don't get your ability. Because, you know, that's what I like. So at minus, if you play him without being an Olympian deck, it's at least X is one, right? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, another Lorite. Yeah, Hooray. it is another Lorite for one more mana. Gross. <laughs> um, next is Athena, the seventh Olympian. She is two white and one red for a 9-9 nine -nine Olympian. She has a Tails. Enter, or when you search... Oh, this card deals 600 damage to target player or J Resonator. You gain 600 life. Prevent all damage will be dealt to you until the end of the turn. Nice. Neat. When this card attacks, it deals damage equal to its attack to your opponent and all J Resonators they control. Hell yeah. This card is awesome. Prevent all damage will be dealt to you. Okay. You Let's... may play this card as though it had quick cast as long as you control in your public zone. You may play this card as if it had quick cast as long as you control in public zones or own outside the game in a combined total of six or more 12 Olympians. Yep. And then Union 7, she gains flying and swiftness. If this card is deal damage, it deals that much plus 1,000 instead. If damage would be dealt to this card, prevent 1,000 of it. This card is just good by itself. Yeah, by itself, it's amazing. It's a three drop, another really good Athena. So every Athena I've seen has been super strong. Yeah. And this one kind of takes the cake on that because okay. she's just like, I'm going to be big and you can't stop me. And it's a normal. Like, this does a lot for just being a normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for three mana, I'm a 9-9 nine -nine that doesn't take damage and then I'll kill you. And I swing, you immediately take nine. And then your dudes take nine. And then we'll see what happens after that. Yeah, really, really good. Man. Death and Rebirth. A black and a green chant. Okay, quick cast. Your opponent banishes a non-magic stone, non-J ruler entity. I love it. Death. As an additional cost to play this card, you may remove X cards from your graveyard from the game. Your opponent banishes X non-magic stone, non-J ruler entities. Yes. Rebirth. As an additional cost, you may pay Y cards from your removed area into your graveyard. You may recover up to Y magic stones you control. Pretty cute. This can be good. This can be really great, just in general. Definitely play it. Mm-hmm. It's super strong if you're playing Athena. Yeah. Uh, next, we have Hera, the ninth Olympian. She's a white and a black for 6-8 with Tails. Enter it when gotten from an effect. Look at your opponent's hand and choose a card from among them. They discard it. Nice. Union 7. She gains Drain and Bane and tap. This card does 200 damage to target player or J Resonator. Yeah. If you get Union 7, she just tap kills a dude. Yep, pretty so much. pretty cool. And then you also, your opponent may play only one card per turn. So she gets to just be like, you play one card and I'm going to kill your one card. Yep. So yeah, she can do a lot. 
for sure. But you have to get that Union 7, and we've already talked about how... We'll see how quick people can do it. Yeah. I'm not saying it can't be done, but it's just... It seems yeah. difficult in this format. Yeah, for sure. Magna and Linneth, the 12 Olympian Olympians. Uh, red and white, 6-6, six, six, tells... Enter with the whole blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Target J Resonators gain swiftness and eternal till end of turn. Put X11 counters on it where X is the number of different names from among Olympian gods you control in public zones and Olympian gods you revealed outside of the game. If X is five or more, draw two cards. Cool. You may play this card if I had, wait, if it had quick cast as long as you control public zones this, outside the game, six or more. Which I don't I don't understand why they did six when seven is all you need for the other thing. But yeah. Anyways. Union seven. Enter. This card deals X damage to your opponent where X is the total attack of new Olympian gods you control. That's just so a lot. It's I, great. I think she's really good. This yeah. card's really good for its top ability of yeah. my dudes are swiftness and eternal. And so many counters on and them. I'm gonna kill you. So like and she, it's just two mana. My dudes are big and angry, and I'm gonna kill you right now. And if there's a lot of counters, I draw X cards, or I draw yeah. two. It's cool. It's a lot. It's a lot to keep up. Yeah, with. does a whole lot. Next is Persephone, the eleventh Olympian. Is a, wire, a black and a green. Uh, she is a six-six with tails. Enter or when it's revealed by an enter, uh, destroy target J Resonator. If you do draw a card, hell yes. Uh, pay a black, discard this card, remove target card in the graveyard from the game. Pay a green, discard this card, return target spell to its owner's hand. Union 7, you can pay 0, target J Resonator, you can... Target J Resonator gains plus 6, plus 6, play this ability only once per turn, and only if this card is in your graveyard. Or pay 0, destroy target J Resonator control, and target J Resonator your opponent controls, play this ability once per turn, and only if this card is in your graveyard. Cute. This card is amazing. Yes definitely a card to be used if you're playing black green tails because it's literally get three abilities for one mana and you you can literally pay a green just to return a spell to its owner's hand yeah done so she fuels herself to be like hey cool discard this card bounce that spell so i don't need you to do that right now yeah if i get union seven off of that then you're like cool kill your thing cool yeah exactly or uh, reveal it Destroy target, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Super strong. That, that, she's one of the better ones for sure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Super califragilist X Bialidocious Flame. Is a red and a blue for a chant. Is a dragon power chant. Quick cast, you gain 10 dragon power. You have no max hand size. Force resonance flame. Then draw X cards where X is your dragon power divided by 10. Round it down. It's cool. It's cool. I would say use maybe one of them because it's free 10 power, but. I wouldn't go too hard on it because you're not really doing a lot. And you're not really wanting to play blue. I mean, the other one, the all your, if you almost go mono red, you can almost win with that alone. Yeah, he is really cool and it does give you free dragon power and no max hand size the rest of the game. But I mean, I wouldn't, I personally won't go very hard on this card because it doesn't do a lot for you. Yeah. It does, but it doesn't. And not even good and limited. The Thunder of Zeus, it's Ruberg, all colors. It's a quick cast chant. Choose up to two. You gain 2,000 life. Cool. This card deals 2,000 damage to target player or J Resonator. Cool. Cancel target spell or activate ability or automatic ability. Your opponent discards two cards. Draw two cards. And if you have a Force Resonance Olympian, you have for each entity you control with one or more races, choose one of these those races. You may pay a white, red, blue, green, or black less to play this card for each different race is chosen this way. So obviously you chose maybe probably 12 apostles or 12 gods. Olympian gods, and then it could be free, depending. Yeah, you choose the different races, and you get free stuff. Yeah. And if you have the old school Alice that is every race, then you're like, cool, I'll choose five of those. And, yeah, I choose uh, all those uh, races. Free. Right there. Neat. Uh, next is Typhonomaki, the final duel. Two black and two white. Each player puts as many non magic stone, non chant cards with different names, different printed names as they can from the graveyard into the field. Force Resonance Olympians, the cost of this card is a black and a white less if in of its printed cost in all zones. So if its total cost is checked, it will be two. So if you ever playing Olympian deck, this card costs two mana, whereas otherwise it costs four mana. And be ready for this card to do a lot yeah. because when it triggers, everyone gets their inter triggers, but your opponents will go off first. 
that's how that works. So the care, yeah, sat. Or you can play that one black card that says remove their graveyard, and then you just do this, and then you have your stuff. But if you're playing Athena, you in response put all your stuff in your graveyard, or you remove area back in the graveyard. Yeah. Your graveyard. Okay, cool. I got my dudes back. Complications. So <laughs> yeah. side, sideboard card. Yeah, it's it's a neat card. I definitely would say use it if you're playing Olympians because you just get free free dudes. Yeah. Because your dudes are almost always going to be better than theirs. With that, we'll go in, we'll jump into the stones. We have the Magic Stone of Infinity. So four stars in Infinity, tap a black. Uh, Union Seven Machine, tap two black. Eh. Neat. It's so good if, for machines. Yeah. If for, you're if you're not paying anything, don't even play this Magic Stone. It doesn't do anything. If you don't have Infinity. Yeah, if you're not playing Typhon, this is not <laughs> worth it. Uh, the one Magic Stone, it is Force Resonance Olympians, produce one of any color, produce two will of any combination of attributes, spin this will to play new Olympians. Oh, nice. This one's super good for Zeus because you need mana fixing, and this helps you get it, two free mana for, for it. For one, yeah, that's really good. Yeah, if you're playing Olympians, you play this card. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That is the set, guys. It is going to be a super fun set to play. We're super excited for it this weekend. Um, I, it's it's going to be a wild set. It's going to change a lot of things. It's going to do a whole lot. Yes. I think overall this set's going to be a lot more fun by itself. Like limited format, I think it's going to be really fun, even yeah. though it's going to be a little crazy with like the draft rulers, but it does seem really interesting. Or even if it's just a block set tournament, pretty much. Yeah. A block turn would be really cool because then all the order rulers get to slug it out and see who gets to take the cake on those because they all have do different things and get to win in weird ways. Exactly. But in Wonder in itself, it looks like just green wins out of those like two or three cards that just make whatever deck you're making already stronger. It gets to do more low right things. It gets to do no, like say no more to your opponent. Yeah. The, besides that, I want to see these new rulers do something to shape up Wonder or two as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens, honestly. But I'm definitely going to make some new fun decks with the brewing of this set. So be on the lookout for that, guys. And we will see y'all again next time. Goodbye. Later. Make sure you hit that like button, guys, and subscribe to our channel. It would greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure you hit that bell to stay up to date on any of the notifications for our channel. And lastly, make sure you give us all the comments down below. We'll make sure we get them. And just to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to subscribe. But for those mythic and above patrons, we like to give you a super thanks. And that would be Ryan and Magic Dragon Games. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. We love you.